clarity and share closure as to what an adverb is. As one of the ten parts of speech, it is one of the most important as far as understanding and cognizing how syntax works. Specifically regarding syntax and adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, grammar. Now, if you parse the word, which I will do with you later on in the video, you will find that there is a particle of negation in the word. Those students who have been studying for a while will know exactly what I'm talking about. A vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word is a particle of negation and it means no contract. So this literally means no verb. And if you go further with it, it means no speak. And if you go even further with it back to Sanskrit, it means no command. Now, why does the AD mean no? Well, if you parse it and you look it up in the etymology dictionary, it will mean to. To is future tense. Anything that negates the now space, what's happening right now, means no. It's no contract. Because we don't have a contract with the future because we, we don't know what the future is. We don't have a contract with the past. That's already happened. We contract in the now space continuum. That's why this is pure. One of the reasons why this is pure modification is just a non-tangible contract figment concept. Theory, a wisp of a thing, but it can do a lot of modification in fiction grammar when used with knowledge or without, and I will show you why in this video. To begin our discussion of the adverb, I've started with Google, and I'm going to start there and work backwards. I simply typed in adverb. And as you can see here, an adverb is a word or phrase that modifies or qualifies an adjective verb or other adverb or a word group expressing a relation of place, time, circumstance, manner, cause, degree, etc. Typically expresses manner, place, time, blah, 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 answering questions such as how, in what way, when, where, and to what extent. So, in other words, an adverb modifies the speed at which the thing it's modifying is traveling. That could be a verb or it could be an adjective in correct sentence structure. It says here that it would modify another adverb. But keep in mind, this is fiction. And in this video, I'm going to show you why it just doesn't make logical sense that an adverb would modify another adverb after you know the function of what an adverb actually is. So we see here a little bit of the etymology. We have AD, which means to, which means no. And in Latin, verbium, verb. So it means no verb. So let's go to a modern dictionary definition of it. Word that describes, describes, not modifies now, it's saying describes a verb, adjective, or another adverb or a sentence, often used to show time, manner, place, or degree. Full definition of adverb, a word belonging to one of the major form classes in any of numerous languages, typically serving as a modifier of a verb, adjective, another adverb, preposition, a phrase, a clause, a sentence, Expressing some relation or manner of quality, place, time, degree, number, cause, opposition, affirmation, or denial. And in English, also serving to connect and express comment on clause content. And then comes in the LY thing. And uh, part of why LY is so poisonous. Keep in mind, this is fiction babble conceptualization. All right, so let's go back to 1828 Webster's Dictionary and see what we can find there. Adverb. In grammar, a word used to modify the sense of a verb, participle, adjective, or attribute. Isn't it interesting that over 100 years ago, a long time ago, 
it doesn't specifically say in the world renowned authority for fiction definitions, it doesn't say that an adverb modifies another adverb. Something to note. But it says to vary or qualify the sense of another word by enlarging or restraining it. So in other, again, the adverb is a modifier that modifies, limits, or enhances the speed at which the word following it is delivered. Very simple. And then if we go into Latin and we type in AD, which is the first part of the adverb, the first syllable, it means to, toward, which means no, because any word that negates the now space means no. And if you go back here, you see that it is indeed two syllables. Just wanted to make sure you knew that. So we went to the Latin. Now let's go to the etymology dictionary. Adverb, one of the indeclinable parts of speech, so-called from being ordinarily joined to verbs for the purpose of limiting or extending their signification. Okay. So just more of the same stuff, just using different adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun to uh, describe it. It's two syllables, plain to see, AD and verb. We go to AD, to, toward, just like it said. From the Proto-Indo-European root, to, near, at. So it's not the thing, it's near the thing or going toward the thing or at the thing, but it is not the thing. And then we look up what verb is, and it goes back to <laughs> the word of God saying part of speech that expressions action or being 12th century from Proto-Indo-European W-E-R-E -E, to speak, Avestian Prata command, Sanskrit command, vow, Greek, public speaker, agreement, covenant, call, summon, name, word. So these are all ancient closures on what a verb is. So I've just given you closure on both particles of the verb, of the adverb, sorry. AD meaning no, and verb meaning speak or command. Uh, what have you. I go for the earliest nativity root mean of what a word is. So an adverb is basically a no verb. It's a no command. It's no speak. I'm going to try to provide a tangible analogy that will help you to cognize and comprehend the function of an adverb in a fiction grammar scenario. So I'm going to draw a little diagram for you. So let's say that these are three frames on a roll of film, okay? They're pictures of something, whatever that is. You got the, the old man, and then you got the woman and the little baby, and then you got the old man smiling. The adverb functions as the cuts, the transitions between the clips, modifying the speed at which the clips are delivered. So you have this clip, which we could consider perhaps uh, tangible. We can see what it is. The adverb is the fade that happens between this clip and this clip, the transition. The adverb is modifying the speed or the manner in which this clip is delivered. Same thing here, it's a fade or a squiggly. Transition from here to here, from here to here. Modification moving forward. Now, 
Same thing can happen here, of course. You fade into a movie. <clears throat> adverb scenario. Verb. For example, adverb scenario. Verb. Adverb scenario. Verb. For example, so now that I've shown you what the function of the adverb is, if you have this clip of the old man, and then you have a minute of darkness, and then it fades back into the woman and the child, how do you know how many adverbs have been put in there? How do you know how many fades were put in there? How can you certify how many cuts are there? Distancing this from this, you don't know. You just know that a fade happened. A fade from one screen to the other, hence one adverb, an adverb. Same thing here. Perhaps there's two seconds of blackness. How many adverbs is that? How many fades is that? I can certify one fade, but I certainly can't certify two, three, or four fades. I don't know how many are there. I just know that there's darkness either for a minute or for two seconds. One. And with that analogy, I hope that I provide you, the viewer, closure on why, for me, an adverb would not logically modify another adverb. That it would modify an adjective? Yes. A verb? Yes. But an adverb? No. Because it functions as the cut. It's pure modification. If you took all of this away, could you make a movie out of fades, simply fades? Does that make much sense? No, you know, you need clips to do that. And now I'm going to move into giving closure on the finite meaning for my code dictionary of what an adverb is. Here is my correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, finite meaning for adverb. I have used the quantum grammar shorthand for purposes of brevity on my part. For the adverb of the finite mean is with the claim of the modification, with the fact of the creation, with the function of the verb, or of the adjective, with the oity of the fiction language authors, with the syntax certification by the auditor, and correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, authority. Backwards. For the auditor and correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, authority of the syntax certification is with the fiction language authors of the oite, with the adjective or with the verb of the function, with the creation of the fact, with the modification of the claim with the finite mean by the adverb, period. And that gives closure that the adverb is used by the fiction language authors to modify uh, facts or in fiction known as nouns into verbs or adjectives. That's the closure on the adverb. I hope you enjoyed it. Please look to the other nine parts of this series for more closures. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Or if you'd like to apply for a correct grammar workshop, or you just want a 10 to 15 minute video consultation, go ahead and email me. Thank you.